Well, so in the last video, I had a look at a few sites. So uh, Orkney in Scotland, Newgrange in Ireland, and Gavrinus in France. But let's go a little bit more south now to Spain, and there the uh, Vieira and Menga Dolmen, as well as the Dolmen uh, del Romero, I think is the pronunciation. But I'll zoom in on that. And let's go right down because there's a few interesting things. That, well, uh, these ancient sites here are pretty interesting anyway. So while that's zooming down, slow, slow connection, usually slower than normal. So there we have a close aerial view. So we have Vieira Dolmen and uh, uh, the Menga Dolmen, as well as this visitor centre here. And the angle here will, is a nice one because it'll point off to another important site in that area. So let's go down. That's uh, to so you get an idea of the Vieira and Menga Dolmen. There we get a uh, aerial view uh, close up then we see this visitor centre here and Get my line tool out. And what we're doing is uh this site and it's it's more than just this new visitor centre, but it's pretty much pointing at this dolmen here, the Romeral I hope I got my pronunciation right, but uh Well actually there's a mountain as well, so if we be passing. Okay, not quite through there, but uh, where it does point off to, and we'll come back to this, is a big mountain over here. And that will be a nice point in there. So it's uh, just did a rough on there, so well, 45, 47 degrees there, but I haven't been super accurate with the line up. But this is a important feature. We'll get back to it in a moment. There you can see the the alignment there. Well, that's the modern visitor centre, but this has got to do with Menga, the Menga Dolmen as well. But first, the Vieira Dolmen there. And so, these are some of the most ancient sites in Europe. And so that's the Vieira Dolmen. Now there's been some, anyway, you see the older stones there. And they've done some uh, work in this shaft which leads in there and some very heavy stone so it's this is a very ancient very important site but uh, what's also interesting I'll get to this in a later you might have if you followed the channel for a while uh, six degrees from true east and well this six degree thing which is in the ancient world but also in modern street plans as well especially uh, those connected to uh, Freemasons for etc uh, in Paris the Louvre um, and uh, the Grand Arch, a six degrees off axis on either side of it there. The George, uh, the Washington Monument, the big obelisk in Washington is six degrees from the central axis from the White House. But uh, what's important is this Menga Dolmen and the 45 degree angle on there. And there we see the Menga Dolmen. And what it is is pointing... at this mountain over here and to get an appreciation of that I've got to go down to street view and while that's happening so the Menga Dolmen it's orientated 45 degrees there you get a uh, idea of the front of it the largest uh, in Europe and these very large stones um, constructed both Fiera and Mengo are constructed around about 3,500 BC. And unlike most ancient sites, famously like Newgrange, Mays Howe, uh, Scara Bray or Gavrinus, it's not aligned to the winter solstice, but to the summer solstice. And there's a very nice coinkidinky thing going on in there. Now, some of the roof slabs weigh up to 250 tonnes as well. So how's it? Okay, let's go down to Street View. 
and just to get an appreciation because there's a nice little thing going on here okay so it's still a bit slow but okay so that's the you see the now the heaviest of these uprights is about 180 tons they're about 250 across there you get a bit uh, idea of a cross section and very similar construction to the uh, Vieira dolmen as well uh, it's Domingo and Vieira is a bit more sharp I suppose in its construction but uh, so Domingo and how are we on street view okay getting there so there's the Menga Dolman itself get a bit of an idea they're, they're both around 50 meters or 164 feet the Dolman itself but okay so there's a Menga Dolman one of these uh, one of the larger stones there so the heaviest is about 250 tons and it is a it is aligned to the summer solstice so where is that leading off to well it's pointed there that's what it's pointed at on the summer solstice on the morning the sun rises over that particular peak which is very nice because so there's an uh now I forget the, the uh lover's leap it's called so there's a local story there back during the moorish times that uh daughter of one of the uh, local muslim leaders uh she fell in love with a christian then they ran away and rather uh, than be captured uh, she helped him escape from a prison rather than um, uh, be captured or separated they decided to jump so that translates to lover's leap if I got my at least that's what the sites say I don't uh, my Spanish is non-existent but you might notice a bit of a shape going on there but it's easier to see when you see the so that would be you know uh, couldn't find exact dawn picture but that's you know, pretty much the silhouette on uh, dawn on the summer solstice to where this is aligned and it's very well, it seems to be you know it looks like a face looks like a like a giant um, in the landscape so that's there that's on the summer solstice that's that visitor center which is also that uh, shape also seems to be pointing off to that uh, mountain there as well but Now I need to exit Street View, and there is a so these uh, Menga and Vieira are said to be around about 3,500 BC, uh, very early copper period. But when we go over to, actually I should have checked out what the local ores are like there. So there we have the Dolmen um, del Romeral, and that's said to be later around about 2,000. 500 BC but what's nice about that one so there we see some of the stonework on the inside but it has this uh, be like a what they call sometimes call a beehive tomb structure to it and also these this sort of familiar shape but what's interesting is that's struck very similar to the treasury of Atreus in Greece uh, which was about uh, 1200 years later and again really some uh, like the stones there, the heaviest is about 200 tons but we see the same beehive uh, sculpt now it's interesting to me because that's 48 feet across I could never get an exact number but there are 33 layers of masonry that make up this particular what they call a beehive tomb in the treasury of uh, Atreus so but yeah the Menga dolmen uh, aligned on the summer solstice aligned to this uh, mountain the lover's leap as it's called now and again i think you know that they chose that angle because if you were to you know at a different angle a uh, different location uh probably wouldn't get that same silhouette but just what I thought, uh, yeah these are not so well no actually they're pretty well known but they're not spoken about uh, too much but yeah so this is another one of these ancient sites that you find uh so stonehenge basically and a few other play uh places um get the uh, overwhelming bulk of the attention but let the tilt 
but in uh, Portugal, such as um, Almendras and Spain, um, of course, Newgrange is pretty well known. Uh, the stone ships as well. Yeah, so there are lots and lots of these uh, sites as well, in um, especially in Western Europe and this part of the world. And quite a few of them have been, uh, especially around the 18, 1900s, they pulled a lot of them uh, down, like uh, I was just speaking to someone about um, over in uh, Brittany and the stone circles there that uh, older uh, surveys had described them um, pretty well. But since then they've been dismantled. Anyway, so that's those in Spain, and especially the Manga Dolmen. Uh, and this six degrees from true, it, it's just uh, I keep finding this. It's uh, very cool stuff. And yeah, Manga Dolmen, Vieira Dolmen, and the Dolmen uh, del Romero. Anyway, have a good one.